Hello everybody, today we are going to fix this nail gun that is not firing. Uh, this is a Porter Cable FN250C 16 gauge finish nailer and the last time I was using it, it started a second here, doing this. And you can feel the air coming out of the trigger, which you should never do. So, what we're going to do today is replace the trigger assembly. Uh, I got a new one off of Amazon, I think it was like 12 bucks. Uh, and so we're going to go through the steps on how to replace this piece. This piece is uh, the one that goes up in here and allows the air out. So, first thing you want to do is disconnect your air supply. I never work on these things with the air connected. And now that that's in, we're going to take, or that's off, we're going to take out these two pins and then this one right here. All right, so our first step is to take out these pins that are right here. And so to do that, you can use a nail punch, you can use a small nail. Uh, in this case, um, use this little awl just to get it started. And then once they start moving in there, because they're going to be a little frozen. Yeah, that started going down. And you're just trying to knock them through. So if you see from the other side, we'll see. Turn this over, you can see the uh, the pins are coming out. So we're gonna take it the rest of the way through. And to do that, now that my awl is uh, basically all the way all the way through, and it's not gonna go any farther, I'm just gonna use like a brad nail, just a small small diameter brad nail, kind of stick in there to pop it the rest of the way. So this one here is pretty much all the way through. So now we're gonna pop this one here. So that popped out and there's my pin. We have our nail here. And we're all the way through on that one. So we'll take our two pins, put those off to the side where we won't lose them. So now we got this guy here. So this is like a little uh, cap that goes on there. You want to make sure you're on the side with the cap. The other side is nice and smooth. Uh, as you can see here, it's nice and smooth. This side, it has a little dimple on it. And we're just going to take our awl and center it on there and give it a good pop. And that came right off. You see here's that wash. We want to keep that little retainer clip. And if it gets stuck on there like mine just did, just take a pair of pliers and pop it. And Take that, put it off to the side, the other side. So now with this trigger assembly, that just kind of pulls out. You see I just did. And then this assembly in here, same thing, we'll just grab it with some pliers and we'll pull that out. The spring came out as well. And there's another piece up in here that you can kind of see that we're gonna have to get out. So you can take some pliers, grab a hold, to start pulling out. There's still another piece in there. So all the pieces are coming out. Coming out fairly easy, just in chunks. So I'm gonna get some longer pliers here and pull that out. Grab this bolt that I have here. Fits in there. You can kinda feel it up in there. And once it catches, some pliers. There we go. So once you get it hooked, you gotta pull it. Just took it a little bit. So right here is the old trigger assembly. And you never know, you know, this might, might be a small crack or a break in one of these washers. Um, I did debate just taking it apart and trying to replace those washers. And then I figured it's uh, $12 apart. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. So here's the new one. And we're just going to put that up. This little trigger guy here goes in the back. Um, there are some grooves in there. You can kind of see where you know that this has to fit in, in there. So I'm just going to take that and just kind of press it in there. So now we're in. That's where the trigger goes. 
So our first two, we'll put these pins back in. So we're gonna first put the pins back in, and these were a long one here, a short one there. And if you look in there, make sure you're free all the way down. So you don't wanna be hitting anything. And then we're gonna just lightly tap it in. Because if it doesn't go, you don't wanna force it. So there's our first one. And then we'll take our second one here. If you have any trouble with it, you can always put some lube on it, like some WD-40 or some type of grease. So with that, and I'm just going to put them in just a little bit more. Check it out on the other side. And we're all the way through, so we're ready to go there. So now we just have the main trigger part and then this guy here. So get the trigger on, that slides back in there and you have to push down on the little spring here, this little guy that goes on top of that little guy. So we can take, squeeze that back, press that down a little bit. If you have some trouble getting to it, you can take a you know, screwdriver or whatever you have just to pull that down and you put that back. All right, and then you gotta kinda look down this hole here and you gotta get everything lined up and put a little pin through. So I'm gonna turn it over so it's facing the same way as the other pin. And once we get that lined up, uh, push all the way through pretty easily. Turn it over. We gotta put that cap back on. Now I have a slight issue where I don't know where that cap is. So I'm gonna take a minute and look for it and then uh, we'll check back in. All right, I surprisingly found it because when it popped off, it rolled. And so I was a little worried I wasn't gonna be able to find it, but we have it. So I'm gonna hold it from this side and then you can kinda push and press it on. So it's kind of rubbery, so it uh, you can do it by hand. You don't have to have anything. So that's on. Trigger's working. So moment of truth here is we're going to hook the air back up and see if it works. All right, so our air is in. Let's see if we get, see if we get a nail. And... Our nail gun is back working, nail went through the board, we're good to go. So our issue was with this trigger assembly up there, uh, something got something got booked up. And so now we're all fixed and working. So that, my friends, is how you change the trigger assembly on a quarter cable uh, nail gun. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this, please leave them in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe and all that, and we will talk to you soon.